Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whichever applies for you, we hope you are having an excellent week and that you are doing well. We are now going to continue our road trip through the Bible by finishing our visit to the Garden of Eden. As you remember from last time, God has created the heavens and the earth and placed all kinds of plants and animals on the earth and has given man dominion over the animals. God then makes his garden and places man in it to work it and keep it. He also places the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the garden, but he has not done adding to his creation. Genesis 2 verse 18 says, Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. God saw that there were plenty of animals for the man, but none that were a suitable help meet for him. So we read in Genesis 2 verse 21 through 22, so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and while he slept, took one of his ribs and closed its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Now man has woman, and the two are to become one, and complement and help each other throughout life. We also learn that they do not yet have the concept of modesty or shame. And that is where the serpent enters the picture and things go downhill. Genesis 3, verse 1 through 5. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall eat of the tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may, aid, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The serpent has deceived Eve and convinced her to partake of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Eve also gave some of the fruit to Adam, and they both ate of it. Then their eyes were opened, and they realized they were naked. And so they fashioned some clothing to wear. Then God appears in the garden. Genesis 3, verse 8 through 13. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you, have, whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. This beautiful garden that Adam and Eve have called home will now be taken away from them because they did not obey the commands of the Lord God. Now punishment will be handed down, not only to Adam and Eve, but the serpent as well. In Genesis 3, verse 15 through 19, The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. <clears throat> and to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And then, as the final punishment, God expels Adam and Eve from this wonderful place. In Genesis 3, verse 23 through 24, <clears throat> Therefore the Lord God sent him out from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he was taken. 
He drove out the man, and at the east of the Garden of Eden he placed a cherubim and a flame, flaming sword that turned away every that turned every way to guard the way of the tree of life. Such a shame that this wondrous garden will now be cut off from mankind. But the lesson to be learned is that when we do not obey God, we do not get to enjoy the pleasures that only He can offer. As we leave the garden now, I hope you will join us on our next devotional video as we continue on to our next destination on our road trip and also that you will come worship with us in person at your next opportunity. We would love to have you with us. Thank you and take care.